So much stuff to bring into the car. Welcome to the channel. We're uh, putting out Beaten Path for our uh, Monday Trio Bowlers. And it's going to be like a uh, how to bowl Beaten Path. We're gonna give you some great advice, how to play the lanes, different angles, all that fun stuff. Check it out. Hi Austin. Hello. So I guess you came in for nothing. So Austin's awesome. And I was like, hey dude, man, come in and oil real quick for, for me because my arm's all messed up. But superstar Kevin over there, he already did all the lanes. So that's amazing, right? We got beaten path out there. I'll set the camera up, get a couple of different angles, talk about the shot. I will link the graph in the description in this video. And I'll share, or I'll put, actually I'll put it, maybe I'll put it up right now. So right there, there it is. There's beaten path. That's what we're bowling on today. Yeah, let's see what we got. New rock. New rock. Nice. Showed up too. I'm here, ready? Hey. Gonna stop getting coffee. All right. So, generally, beaten path should play about 10 down lane. So it's four and a half to one at 41 feet. Most players, depending on their rev rate, what ball they're using, you should be kind of looking at 10, like nine, 10, somewhere down lane for the break point overall to get that ball reaction. So we're gonna show a couple people bowling on lane one once they get loose and get warmed up. And we'll see how many different angles and different styles play it and break it down. Enjoy. So first up here is Steve Fazina. A little more ball speed, more forward roll. He has to stay a bit closer to the break point down lane as you can see. He's using the Crux Prime, so more surface, more traction in the front little less axis tilt so he's got to play a little bit tighter next bowler up is Matt he's a lefty he's a little bit softer at the bottom of the swing a little bit softer on the ball speed he's able to kind of get it a little bit more left and next guy is Kevin another lefty leans on it a little bit harder he's got more surface he's using a Sherlock he can get away with a little bit more area um, once again, more uh, more revs, a little bit less speed. And he's able to kind of cheat that ball reaction a little bit more. And here's uh, here's another shot by him. So he misses right there, big. And uh, because of the cover and his axle rotation rev rate, he's able to get around it. This is Jake. Jake leans on it a little bit to, a little bit more than Kevin. Has a little bit more rev. And he's uh, same thing. Lefties were able to open it up a little bit more. Uh, Jake kind of tugged it a hair there and uh, got a six pin. This is Justin. Justin's a lot softer at the bottom, a little bit more speed dominant. Once again, sort of like Steve Fazina, the righty in the first shot, he's got to get, got to kind of tug the oil line a little bit more. Stay closer to 10. This is Marcel. Marcel spins it a little bit more. He's got a lot of surface with that Notorious. He can basically play right where Steve was. Got a little, little room right on that shot, but he was able to get away with it. That's that ball motion again. Two-hander, Austin using a Crux Prime. He's able to swing the pattern a little bit more. Obviously, more hand, more revs. Another two-hander, Tyler. He's able to open that lane up, hits five down lane, uh, you know, light mixer, messenger temp in there, gets lucky on that one, <laughs> a little fist pump. This is Scott Parker, slower ball speed, but he's got a lot more axis rotation. He can kind of get, get around the corner a little bit more. A little drone shot for you. We like to have fun here. Here we got Josh Baker, kind of a half thumb, more rev. Trips two pin, kind of cheats it out a little bit. Uh, Steve was throwing it great. He was lined up better than I think anyone was that day. Um, I think he switched to the astrophysics right here. He's real firm with it. He just hugs 10, hits the pocket every time.
And then this last shot here is Steve Landry. Gets around it a ton. A lot more revolution. Uh, great bowler, throws it great. And he's able to really swing the pattern a lot using a Sonic. Hits that dry, comes back pretty hard. Hey, so there it is. There's our video on how to bowl on beaten path. I want to thank everyone for coming down. Our Monday Trios Challenge League for the summer. It's great. It's awesome. We appreciate everyone coming out and supporting. We love it. If you uh, have any comments or you have any questions or anything else, please type the thing below on the comment sections. And like and subscribe if you like it. Hit the bell. And definitely give us a thumbs because thumbs help. The more thumbs we get, the better our video ranks and the more people see what we're doing out here. I'm rambling, but you know what? You know when you ramble, you can edit. And editing is, is key. So thanks for joining us. There we go. Love you, Fred. Love you, Fred. I love Jake, I love Kevin. No one likes Matt, so no one likes Matt. Hey, if it's 1 a.m. and you're sitting in bed watching this video on how to bowl on beaten path, dude, it's time for nine nights, bro. Go to bed. But click the thumb and the likes and all that first. Do that first, and then go to bed. Go to bed.